for tonight's shave, we're going to go old school and new school contrast. This will be my first try with Williams Mug Shave and Soap. This is old stock. And I have had it soaking in a ramekin that I found at the uh, either the Dollar Tree or some Walmart or something. Now for the new school, the Mercure Futur. Um, I've also got the Q Shave, and I've discovered this is heavier it seems and also a little thicker, um, so it's not an identical. Um, copy and so I'll, I'll give this a guy a try this guy's a lot more expensive but I found this guy on a good 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 deal um, so we're gonna give him a shot right now I have him set at we're just gonna set him at two and a half and his settings go all the way up to six so we'll try that the blade I'm using will be Derby Extra. It's been really good to me. I've used it four times so far, this particular blade. And uh, here we go. Here's how to put that into one of these type razors. It's got the center ridge there that you can put the blade around and posts on the end to keep it centered properly that way. And then just very carefully put this centered like that and snap it in all right so there we go you know just for grins I'm gonna turn it to a two because I have no idea the aggression range that this uh, has and so I'll be able to tell on the first stroke about where I feel it is the uh, cover for it looks like this all right I looked up online and my badger brush here this is a silver tip badger knot from Frank shaving it's extra dense as you can see the uh, the tips have hooked and gelled some people like that some people don't I'm undecided shook most of the water out and um, what I've seen online is that you give the the soap a good soak now I just use lukewarm water because that's usually I'm a cold water shaver even though most of the uh, online guys used hot water but I got a feeling it'll be just fine so now here's our puck let's just start going and see what happens now the cool thing about these triple milled soaps is that you can grate them into great a little gratings and form them and press them into any container you want so this is just a temporary container just to see how I like using this particular soap now initially I do get some uh, some foam with airiness to it but we're going to go a little further than that Uh, some people do say that this soap is hard to lather. Um, this is my first time lathering it. I did a little bit of research online. I uh, watched several videos about how to lather it. And I'm just going to kind of pick and choose the wisdom that I saw. Combine that with the... Uh, experience I've already had. We'll see what we come up with. Now that is a pretty good amount of soap. You can see kind of the yellowish edges on that soap ring. It's a, this is an old puck. Okay. I didn't bother grading it because if I do want to keep it in this container, you see those suds? Those will start to build up and act like glue and just keep it right in place. And with this size, did not have any problem with the puck moving around. 
All right, so dry bowl. Just kind of move this around a little bit. One guy said it was important not to start adding too much water. I believe he started out with a little wetter brush than me, but let's just uh, mix it. Let's see. See what kind of paste we get from just the uh, wetness that was on the soap and a little bit of dampness on the brush. Yeah, see, look at that. We're already getting kind of a nice paste. Yep, just kind of a standard soapy uh, scent to it. Old school. Wow, and this is coming together with no water added. And look at that. See, see, show you what's building up there, and I've been kind of pushing that around. How about that? Nice. So, I'm going to use my medicine type syringe used in giving kids their medicine. I'm just going to, I don't know what to expect out of this soap, so I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. Probably, I'm guessing it's just going to explode with quantity at some point when the water hits it right. It's very thick lather right now. I'm probably going to end up with tons of lather. So, what that if that's true, that'll tell me that I did not need to load for that long. Great thing about this soap, it's available all kinds of places, it's cheap, it will last a long time because it's a hard soap, so it doesn't take that much to, to get it cranking. Just not a problem here. It's a little dry still, I believe. Now it's starting to starting to get a little voluminous, voluminous, and a little on the behaving more like a wet soap. So that's good. This is hard water. I do have hard water. It's cold. Um, so obviously this. So does not have a problem lathering in hard water. Huge big old chunk of soap. Let's look at the peaks. 
Hey, look at that. Gonna keep adding a little bit of water. I'd like to, well, let's do a finger test right quick. Oh, nice slickness, cushion. Oh, that's good. I've already added two teaspoons. Let's just see what else we need to add. Pull it down from the walls smack it in the middle put a brush on top of it it's kind of how I do my mixing stir one direction for a little bit stir the other direction for a little bit take a look at our peaks oh look at that that's light I'm going to go ahead and mix it a little bit more because I think uh, I think we've got a thick chunk right there that needs to kind of be beaten out. Go ahead and add a little bit more. See a few traits of a lather that's wet but also a lather that's dry so that's why I went ahead and added okay do we have a sheen mm, not really I don't think that matters too much I just think this may, this soap is maybe one that doesn't have a isn't going to usually have one it's my guess So this is huge. Still a whole pass or maybe more left in the bowl. And I got this big old thing. Do a quick finger test. Really slick. And it stays slick once you pass your finger over and then come back. Often that will happen when I thin the soap out too much. I'm going to keep adding water. Kind of a quarter teaspoon at a time, maybe less. This is a terrific soap. I can see why it stuck around for has stuck around for so many decades. Now I saw a, a DIY trick with Arco because a lot of people like also like the performance of Arco but the smell is nasty. And you take the Arco, you shave it, you uh, you know you grate it, you spread those gratings out on like a cookie sheet or something and you let them sit for maybe 10 days to get that lemony detergenty smell out and then you spray them with something good like an essential oil sandalwood or a lavender or whatever is your thing oranges uh, bergamot vetiver whatever you can find and then you rake all of them together and shove them into a bowl before that has a chance to uh, lose its scent. Shove them, poke them down into a, a container, seal it up, and there you go. Now you've got your own custom-made shaving soap. Well, sure looks like you could probably do that with this one too.
Look at that. Got some elasticity. It's a long peak. I think I'm going to stop now. I think I'm going to get a nice rich lather right now. I can always thin it down with a little more water if it needs it. That looks terrific. Nothing wrong with old school. All right, get the face wet. It's almost freezing outside. So that is a little bit of a jolt right there. But because I mixed my lather for so long, the lather is not cold, it's lukewarm. All right. Let's see what happens. This Frank shaving knot is terrific. One of my favorites of the inexpensive badgers. It's really kind of all the badgers, the only kind of badger I have. Oh, this is this feels really good. It looks a little, a little too wet. Put a little bit of water on the brush. What did I say? A little too wet. I meant to say a little too dry. And how I how I saw that was I did some painting motions like this on my neck, and I looked at the furrows that were created, and they uh, are just a little too deep, um, a little too hilly. I want those furrows to be a little finer. And that means the uh, lather is a little more on the wet side. With most soaps, that's kind of where I want it. It could vary per soap. This is terrific. I've got a whole nother pass just on my brush here without going back to the bowl. Let's just shave with this and see what happens. Up. I put a few more droplets of water in the bowl here for the next pass since this one was a little too thick so that'll be a little bit ready, more ready for us all right here we go setting number two. Oh, well, that's pretty mild good Turn it up to three and I'm doing it very carefully. I am holding the edges here and so if I were to, I'm turning the handle, if I were to slip, you know, I could cut myself. So I'm being slow and methodical, making sure I have a good grip on these edges here. If you're concerned about that, uh, that you may not be able to do it safely, then maybe put a, uh, a thick rag or something on it. Oh, that's nice. Good, good, good. I don't really like the futuristic looking razors as much. But this one was at such a good deal. That I decided to try it. It's doing well. I believe I could handle higher than a three. But for right now it's giving me a nice comfortable shave. A little bit of audio feedback. This 
soap is easily rinsing from the head. Just pressing light enough on my neck here at least. Just holding it light enough to keep the blade on the skin. All right. Nice, comfortable pass. When I sling the water out of this, I keep thinking I'm changing the setting here. And I did just a hair. I guess I just need to keep a lookout. A little half rinse here. terrific so you saw how long I loaded that brush for um, and that was probably twice as long as I needed to so if you're gonna try to shave with Williams which I highly recommend feel free to go back to that point in the video and time it and then maybe back it off I think the key is just soaking the puck and as you can see it doesn't look like hot water or cold water makes a difference you'll get a great lather either way and I in retrospect it looks like I don't need to spend a lot of time loading the brush think of it more like a normal normal soap and there's one guy out there who did say that very thing very nice this is a good, a good soap when you want to kind of feel old school. Take a little trip back. Maybe use this as one of your uh, old, old vintage Gillette razors. This will do it. Hand performance is just terrific. Okay. We'll get a cross grain pass. Uh, it looks like the Derby blade agrees with this razor very well. Very comfortable. And Derby's an inexpensive blade too. I think it's about ten dollars for a hundred of them on Amazon. This is the trouble spot I have to be a little gentle with. Oh, that's doing well. Just light enough. And my normal angle that I usually use for just about every other razor does seem to be about the right one for this one too, which is nice. You only have one razor, it's not a big deal. But when you switch back and forth like I do, I'm still on setting three. And it's nice not to have to worry too much about your angle. That's super comfy. I sure hope that I get to the end of the shave and it looks good as well. I've had a few really comfortable shaves that it was comfortable because there wasn't too much cutting going on. Tell you this I once read a post online where the guy was saying Williams is the soap to beat because for just a couple of bucks you could have a soap that lasts a very long time 
gives you a rich slick lather I mean you, you kind of have to be a person that doesn't need very much of a scent because I'm not really smelling anything if I get up right on it then I just smell that nice soapy gener general kind of soapy scent which is nice and uh, you know and he said <laughs> Everybody else fails in comparison because you have to you have to pay fifteen dollars or something for an artisan soap that performs just as well as this one as something for two dollars. He was right. This is great. Super, super slick. Uh, it's 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 a nice. It can be dense if you want it to be. You can hit a lot of water into it. So what if I put water into it? Uh, three and a half, almost three and a half teaspoons of water. It's terrific. Wow. I tell you this: if you're on a budget, get some Williams. And here's the catch. Rest rest easy. Because if you mix it like I just did, you are going to be getting a slick, wonderful lather that rivals $30 soaps. And I'm serious about that. This is my first time with it. And I dialed it in easy with just a little bit of internet research. The secret, just soak the soap for about 10 minutes. And then you can just load it like any soap just as long you know um, if you do have more moisture in your brush when you come into it uh, probably best to uh, and, and that causes some of the really light airy lather to kind of overflow out of your bowl just throw that lather away it's a little too thin for you I mean just let it be in the sink and just keep working at the puck for just a little while longer and then when you go to your bowl um, be slow to add the water. You saw how I, I came in with a pretty dry brush. I mean, it was damp. It didn't have any extra wetness in it. And it still was able to generate a very nice lather without adding any water. So crank on that for just a little bit before you start adding water and add it slowly. Um, now, once I started adding water, I did eventually add it half a teaspoon at a time. Um, but I started very slowly. So, wow. Um, I think that was the third pass. the slickness on my face here after the first pass second pass and third pass rivals sterling barrister and man terrific wow it's still on my face i rinsed it quite a bit and i still have some slickness on my face i could probably do another pass right now without even putting any lather on wow i need to rinse a little bit more
need to remember to be on the lookout for post shave feel. Um, oh, that's above average. That's really good. Okay, this razor and blade is a great match with this lather as well. Wow, I'm just not even going to do a touch up run because that looks terrific. Wow, it means a few little tips are showing, but I'm not even going to worry about it. Dang, Williams has still got it. And this is old Williams, too. I imagine they haven't changed their formulation too much at all, but uh, wow, I am just surprised and impressed. Um, still good slickness uh, moisture moisturization there sometimes with those old soaps you expect them to be kind of caustic and leave you drying let's just uh, uh, leave your skin feeling kind of dry and tightening up I'm going to pat my skin dry. I'm just going to leave it like that for a little bit while I clean up. Okay. And then I'll come back with you and uh, tell you if I feel any uh, tightness or drying so we can have a good idea about post shave feel with this soap. All right. Face feel is terrific. Don't feel tight. Don't feel dry. The side of the box says that. Um, leaves skin feeling smooth and soft. So obviously part of their goal was to add some ingredients in there to to help with that and not just be a caustic soap. <clears throat> it looks like they've achieved it. I feel like I can just walk away with no post-shave uh, products at all um, if I needed to. Um, I do have oily skin, but uh, this feels really good. So I'm just going to throw on a... Uh, a balm, uh, no irritation at all from the uh, from the blade. No razor burn, no nicks. Just wow, terrific. Here's that uh, brush after I dried it out. The uh, Frank shaving. This is a whip dog handle, but a Frank shaving silver tip badger, uh, 24 millimeter, I think. Um, you can see those uh, gel and or hooked tips. Very nice brush. I really enjoy it. If I had to grab one brush, um, my my 24 millimeter whip dog that I've really enjoyed for a long time, the uh, it didn't fare so well when I tried to remove that knot from uh, the handle to put it in a better handle. And, uh, and so that one is out of the running. That would probably be my first brush to grab. This is probably my next one. And so he's probably top dog right now. Um, just enough backbone to do the job. And this is a soft badger brush. And we just worked with a hard soap. And it did exceedingly well. And so don't think that you have to have some kind of stiff or scritchy brush like a boar or a, uh, a badger that's got more backbone. Uh, this doesn't have tons of backbone and uh, it's really soft and it whipped it up just fine. In the spirit of old school, I'm opening up my Sella Post Shave Balm. Sella is a uh, Italian soap maker that's been making soap for a very long time. I don't know how long, how long they've been making balms. Probably not as long as the soaps. But this has a classic scent to it. Works really well. So the, uh, the Williams just uh, did not have uh, too much of a scent as I was using it. So it's definitely not going to interfere with any type of scented post shave that you want to do. I like this stuff. So I enjoyed the Futur. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. 
it's spelled like future, but it doesn't have the ending E. Uh, one thing is it's a little harder to know where the blade is because of the roundness of the uh, head there. But, you know, I got by. Fifth use of this derby blade. Got a feeling this could go several more shaves without a problem. All right, I'm going to clean up a little bit more. So that's it, I've cleaned up. I've said it all. I did not expect such a luxurious lather from this soap. Um, I expected a serviceable lather, um, but guys have been able to have an amazing lather for decades because of uh, this uh, soaps like this. It's just amazing. Um, I'd recommend it to, to anyone to have, take a couple of pucks, put one of these pucks in there, um, in a cup, in the bathroom to have as a reserve, or to just, if you wanted to simplify your life and uh, if money ever becomes an issue, sell all those other soaps and keep the Williams and use it and in just, you'll be able to enjoy it. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm foaming at the mouth verbally because I'm amazed and surprised. Um, Desert Island question, the razor, the blade, the soap, it's a big yes. I would be very happy stranded on the uh, Desert Island with only these three products for 20 years. Um, I get great shaves, very enjoyable, very happy. Um, the balm, you know, working great. Such a comfortable shave too. No rawness and good performance uh, as well on my little litmus test area. Comfort is terrific. So, wow. How about that? Hope that you uh, got some information that you didn't know before you started. And uh, that's why I'm here. Wow. What a good, good experience. So, for what it's worth, hope it helped you. Take care and have a good night.